Hello, bonjour, namaste, ni hao, and oh, hi, everybody. What is going on? It is Gail Wright here, and welcome back to the YouTube channel once again for another Danmachi Battle Chronicle video. And today, we have the official launch of the Arrow of Orion campaign. The data download has just happened. The maintenance is done. Let's get right into it, and let's check out, of course, the first thing we're going to be doing in this video in particular is we're going to be checking out the brand new Artemis. We're going to be taking a look at Artemis. We're going to be taking a look at the brand new scene cards. We're going to check out the gacha details, see if she's actually limited or not, and of course, a couple of other things along the way. I'll be doing another video later on where we will be going into detail in regards to this entire update, but uh, the first video of today before I go to work will be on just Artemis and of course her raid up gacha. Um, now, she's the only unit as you can see there. 3000 Thelas of course on day 1, just like I expected. 3000 Thelas on day 1. Day 7 we're getting 500 Thelas and then day 14 is going to be yet another 500 Sela. So beautiful stuff there. Uh, let's see if there's a special login bonus with her. Oh, there is. But no voice. <laughs> um, I did uh, find out about this just before I started recording this video. Um, unfortunately, there seems to be a little bit of an issue with the uh, production side of things with the game. Where unfortunately, um, some of the Artemis voices are not done yet. The story has her voice. Which, of course, makes sense because all they had to do is just take the voice lines from, of course, the movie or even Dan Mimo, right? They can easily just do either of those two things and, you know, that's pretty much it. But uh, from what my understanding is, is that her CP story and, of course, this login screen and, of course, the summon screen, when you do summon her uh, and, you know, it says that tagline or whatever the line they have, you know, they talk about, you know, something or another, right? The fact that they're like Loki or whoever they are those don't have her voice uh, we don't know when they're going to be added we'll have to wait and see but everything else is pretty much uh, done uh, in the game of course everything else is in the game also where did Freya go <laughs> Freya Freya where are you bro where are you um okay that's all well and good okay that was a little bit weird uh all right okay that was a little bit weird i think my uh i think the electricity in my uh house just went there for a split second hopefully the recording is still fine but anyways of course if you guys go on to enjoy this video please be sure to leave a like down below subscribe to the channel for more Don machi content and let me know your thoughts on the brand new artemis if you have checked her out what do you guys think about her do you guys like her dislike her let me know i'm curious to see what you guys have to say down below but yes Apologies on that. That was a little bit of a weird situation. The electricity just went, hence why you must have seen, you know, literally my, uh, I just flashed uh, into nothingness effectively for a second. Uh, but anyways, let's take a look at the gacha and let's see what we are dealing with here, of course. So, um... First and foremost, we have the paid banner here. You can do this three times per account. Of course, makes sense. Uh, Ten times uh, draw only. You can't do singles to get to that point. 2,800 paid iris per multi. Let's quickly take a look if there's been any new bundles. They mentioned that there were new packs being added. Um, ooh, I assume you can't use these tickets. Unfortunately, if my understanding is correct, I am pretty sure you cannot use these... Uh, uh, paid tickets to do the multis. I'm pretty sure you can't do that, sadly. So that's something to keep in mind. You can get 10 bonds of Hestia through this, which is a bit confusing to me because I'm pretty sure they mentioned that you can fully max awaken her without having to do any summons, right? Uh, let me take a look right here. Let's take a look at the campaign information here. Um, so, so, yeah. Uh, special login bonuses and missions where you can obtain Hestia will be held. Upon meeting the conditions, you can awaken Godly Might Unleashed Hestia to the maximum level. I wonder if it's that's just so that people can, you know, fast track it, I guess is the thing. Because, yeah, you're getting two copies here on Hard and Very Hard. And then you're getting some stuff here as well, which I assume if you go into the exchange shop and uh, see our Overine. Yeah, you can get a further for... Yeah, I, so basically, I, I assume that there must be some form of a fast track thing here, basically. People who are very impatient can get their Hestia max bonded in like using 8,000 paid Iris, which... Why? Why would you ever do this? This is one of the most dumbest things I've seen in my life. But anyways, I'm getting ahead of myself here. I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself here. Let's take a look at Artemis and let's take a look at the scene cards, of course. So, 
Artemis is in game finally, right? So let's take a look at her. Then we'll take a look at whether or not she's... Actually, you know what? Let's take a look at that first and foremost. Because I am expecting her to be limited. I mean, it says limited time characters. So, I, I mean, I, I don't really need to be, you know, uh, questioning it entirely. But yes, uh, she will not be added to the lineup of God just to be held in the future. So, so she is a time limited character uh unsurprisingly um i'm i'm kind of unsurprised there to be quite honest i was kind of expecting her to be time limited um the way it was set up and everything but it is what it is that's just how the cookie crumbles unfortunately um let's take a look at the skill details and let's take a look at what artemis is capable of doing so first and foremost zero percent um hang on what the hell this attack multiplier is really high for the base attack 204 percent really okay you know what that's interesting i'm surprised it's that high because if you take a look at some other units right uh i mean let's go to my own characters for example let's take a look at uh, christmas eyes a very recent unit one of the best units in the game of course right you guys can see what her multiplier is at level one 96 percent so that is a very high normal attack multiplier with artemis of course that is a very high normal attack multiplier that you have there um her first technique is about right i mean 120 percent um cooldowns uh short two consecutive front facing aoe attacks grants your unit five percent electric damage increase for five seconds and two stacks only so ten percent uh electric damage i guess which is fa uh, fair enough i suppose it's not that high. I'm not gonna lie. I thought it was gonna be more. At Awakening 2, it goes up to 10% and you get a 7.5% shield. But that's not a huge amount, honestly. That's not a great buff there, in my opinion. Skill 1 isn't insane there, to be quite honest. In my personal opinion, I'm not the biggest fan of that, uh, you know, very, very uh, short, uh, small buff. But still something, I suppose. And then at Awakening 2, anyways, it goes up to 10%. So keep that in mind. Then technique to uh, Figaro, Figaro Photo is a 240% attack multiplier, 4 consecutive front facing AOE attacks, and when your HP is above 50%, increase damage by 25%. So the HP requirement and the threshold is 50%, which is absolutely fine. I think that is a good enough threshold. I thought it might have been like 70-80%, which I would have been really concerned about, but 50% is very much so achievable. Um... At Awakening 3, holy shit, what the hell? Okay, at Awakening 3, you get a 20% critical rate increase and also a 30% damage increase. So basically a 5% damage increase and a 20% crit boost, which is not bad at all, of course. I think that's really, really solid. And then finally, this is a paragraph and a half. Fengali Zakria is her special move. And then at uh, Awakening 1, um, well, at Awakening 0, first and foremost, let's take a look at this. So you get 20% uh, HP recovery uh, of max HP, that is, which is fantastic. Um, and then above 70% HP, you get 35% more crit rate. And then above 90% HP, you increase your critical damage by 20% on the special move. I think that is relatively strict in my opinion i think 60 80 would have been a lot better in my personal opinion a lot more achievable by players 90 percent or above it just depends on effectively the situation you know that come happens uh you know when it comes to like you know what you're dealing with in terms of the enemy are you able to get that hp recovery going consistently or will it uh, proc the buffs after you do your HP recovery or is it before you do the HP recovery from the special move? That's going to be very interesting to see as well. Then at Awakening 1, you get an, a, a damage boost of 50% above 50% HP, which is insane. 42% crit rate bonus and 24% crit damage bonus. Okay, at Awakening 1, her... her uh, special move becomes a insane attack. What the hell is that, bro? What the hell is that? And then at Awakening 5, um, basically a 10% bonus to both the critical damage and, uh, damage bonus as well as the HP recovery. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I really like Artemis's, um, normal attack. Uh, to an extent, I like the second uh, technique but mainly the special move i would say that her normal and special moves look really strong i'm gonna have to wait and see how she operates in game and actually how she works by in terms of usage but yeah for me i think those are the two key things that i really like about her but the other the skills itself i'm like a little bit shaky on i'm a little bit shaky on those two to be quite honest 
Now, let's take a look at the scene card, please, Orion. This is the first scene card, of course, and it does have a HP threshold uh, 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 restriction, which, I mean, I expected. I knew that one of the scene cards at least would have it because Artemis is based on that, and, and along with that, uh, Hestia is recovering HP as well, right? So it made sense, but uh, this is not bad at all. 70% or above, I'm okay with. I'm okay with anything that's 70% or above, or like, 40% or under I mean ideally it would be 50% or above or 50% and under because I think that's the you know it's half and half basically right but the restrictions like 80% or above or 30% or less I feel like are too strict in in certain situations so this is not bad 70% or HP or more 30% crit rate not bad at all at minimum it's 15% crit rate which is still solid I would say and then finally, we have the Let's Share uh, 10,000 Years of Romance scene card, which I uh, <laughs> I love how it just changed to Artemis just as we uh, wanted to click on it. When your unit's HP is at 100%, gain a 30% strength, intelligence, vitality, dexterity, status increase. Okay, that is very restrictive. I mean... <laughs> It's not impossible, but if you get even chipped once, that means you're not getting this bonus, which is going to happen. I'm sorry, but that is going to happen. So to me, I feel like that's just a risk you should not be taking, in my personal opinion. I'm not a big fan of the scene card. I'm not going to lie, but it, it may work. It may work for some people. This scene card, however, please, Orion, is really solid, I would say, overall. Now, let's take a look at the draw rates and see what we're cooking here. Um, I assume she's going to be 0.7%. Yeah, 0.7%. Unfortunately, not 1.4%. Would have been nice if they'd just given the 1.4%, in all honesty, lowered the assist rate or something like that. I think that would have been absolutely fine. But that's just the featured rate. It's the same as always. There's no difference there, realistically. Um, but it would have been nice if the featured rate was boosted up a little bit more as well. But anyways, let's start off with the only multi of this video i am considering doing the paid only banner we will see um but i am of course going to do at least one multi to see what we can get um oh yeah by the way i didn't even check how is the um what is the uh situation here um so yeah they they say that the new voice of goddess of chastity artemis is scheduled for implementation at a later date due to production reasons fair enough um and then the home motion special as well will be added at a later date so we'll see how when they do add that uh maybe there might be something behind it we don't know um the uh, Guaranteed you are ticket. Okay, so the ticket that we get the 80 pity ticket is a 50% chance of getting artemis which I'm not gonna lie. It's right in the middle of what was Expected it was either gonna be 35% chance or 70% chance 50% directly in the middle so can't really complain too much about that either to be quite honest but anyways um that's still at 80 pity of course to, to let you guys know um i know a lot of people probably whales will definitely be doing this no matter what so yeah i don't think people need to worry about getting that initial copy of artemis at all anyways let's do our for, uh, only multi of this video see what we get it is a brown minotaur unfortunately so doesn't look amazing for us but we'll see if we can get something good here nonetheless because brown minotaurs you know they can still give you the goods you know they can still give you the goods lily ruka lafia's determination another lafia's determination appreciated bell open wide bell okay th I, I love the i love the connection here but you need to give me something good here game come on all right, final unit, and it's a Tiona. Fantastic. Almost a mineral. <laughs> Could have been nasty. Could have been nasty. You know what? We'll do one more multi as well. Just to, just to have it, you know, at an even 20. And then we'll see if we want to do more during the live stream. But I'm at an, already at a decent amount of Selah's 46,000. Let's see how it goes. All right. It is a minotaur fantastic also by the way if you get the inscription and of course the eyes animation that is a guaranteed uh new character which means of course that is going to be artemis no matter what so let's see what we get here we got the scene card that i didn't like <laughs> we got the scene card we didn't like but it's a good scene card it looks very pretty i will still take it absolutely all the way to the bank and uh 
yeah, we will be absolutely taking it. No doubt about it. But there you go. I'm going to wrap it up there. Let me know what you guys got. If you did your multis as well. If you summoned for Artemis, did you guys get her? If you guys have used her as well already, what do you guys think about her? Like her? Dislike her? What do you guys think could be better about her? Let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please be sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, take it easy everybody. Bye-bye.